Charlotte is a struggling actress by day, waitress by night. Talk about your stereotypes. She meets a grandfatherly theater set designer at her waitressing gig who tells her she should try the stage instead of TV. This guy is way too nice. Most people I've known who worked backstage in theater drank too much, cussed even more, and smelled like a mix of sawdust, cigarettes, and anger. The theater mentioned by the kindly old, non-drinking, non-cigarette stinking designer is The Grand. Their de facto leader is Julian, a TV star whose dad was artistic director at the theater for years. Julian is stepping into his father's shoes to direct The Christmas Carol. It turns out Charlotte and Julian have history. They acted together in the past, auditioned for a TV show together, and had very different results. He got the gig and became a household name. She didn't and became employee of the month at Snooty McOinker's Bacon Emporium. Ah, the fickle winds of fate. Charlotte auditions for the play, not realizing Julian is behind it all. When she sees him, she bails on the audition. Yeah, they've got issues. She reconsiders, auditions anyway, and gets the lead in a gender-swapped modern take on Dickens. Unfortunately, Gary Coleman was unavailable to play the Ghost of Christmas Past, because he's dead. The owner of the theater decides to sell the plays for a big high-rise development. The Christmas Carol will be their last production. Everyone is sad. Our merry troop of theater rats rally to save the place with Charlotte as a leader in the effort. Their unity is symbolized by a Christmas tree lighting and some public domain Christmas carols. Meanwhile, she and Julian grow close again, evidenced by their throwing of ice crystals at each other amidst the wonderland of lights. Then they save the theater thanks to a week-long social media campaign. Yeah, a week. Uh-huh, whatever. Then they celebrate by going outside where the steady cam can move slowly around them while they kiss amidst the fano. Here are our scores. And that's our lightning review of Christmas Encore. To watch another episode of Schmaltzmark, click on the upper left. Or to subscribe to our channel, Wannabe Films, click on the upper right.